Hi, my name is Neil and I'm going to start blogging my progress using Jake Steiner's of endmyopia.org to see how far I can reverse my myopia, my short sightedness where you try and look in distance and everything's blurred but I can see fine and close up I developed it when I was a teenager about 12, 13 years old the usual things couldn't see the blackboard when I was sitting at the back of class when I was travelling in the car signs were becoming blurred went to the opticians and they said I was short sighted gave me the glasses with a prescription I have no idea what it was back in those days I assume it's about minus one and that fixed the problem I could see again clearly probably a little bit better than I'd been seeing for a while I looked back at the trees and the leaves were nice and clear again that edge that was always there but I thought I'd start off today even though it's now August and I started back in April should have been blogging the whole time but as with these things you put it off try it out first see how things are going and I'm not going to say about my progress at the moment but one thing I'd like to add that most people have problems with is the active focus I've just gone for a walk today without any contacts in, without any glasses. Nice sunny morning. It's nearly about half past nine now. So the sun's well up in the sky. And for the first time ever, I think I've achieved active focus to a level I've never been able to achieve before. And it's thanks to one of the people who advocated for reversing mafia who did a TEDx talk. I'll try and link the video in the comments below. He went on holiday once without his glasses and he had to live in blur the whole time and he discovered when he was out enjoying himself trying to at least that if he sat down and just stared at things they became clearer and one of the things that really helped him was focusing on power lines and as I walked along the field today at first I couldn't make out any power lines at all I knew they were there, they were there because I've come this route many times before but as I stood staring they suddenly popped into vision, becoming focused completely. I felt as though I could reach out and even touch them. I've just come to this point at Billy's Lake, where I'm looking up at the pylon and the wires. And to me, they're in blur. But as I blink, they start to become clearer and clearer. Now, strangely enough, this isn't the best position I was in. And if I turn the other way, exactly the same focus there. But I'm going to stop the video there and go around to where I was in the field that really made a big difference. Okay, so we're very close to the position I first realized I'd achieved the active focus. Turn this way, sun's on my back now. As I pan the camera around, you can see the pylon ahead and you may be able to make out the wires. As I walked along the field, I couldn't see those. I made a quick glance, I knew they were there, but I couldn't see them. And out the corner of my eye, I just caught what looked like a wire. I wasn't sure whether my brain was tricking me into thinking it was there. But as I stand here now, looking to where I know the wires are, they keep flashing into focus. A little bit blurry, but if I now stare, what some people might call a hawk stare or an eagle stare, they suddenly flash right into focus. And they're so sharp in clarity. I felt like I could reach out and touch them and when I did that earlier they completely disappeared because my hand brought the focus from my eyes but I'm not actually managing to maintain the focus on the wires and I can still see my hand
Strangely enough, having the white clouds behind them is making them even clearer. Just to the left and the top level, where the blue sky is, very hard to make out. But it does shoot into focus at times. And just as the first time when I stood here staring at them, my eyes are starting to water a little bit. So there's a quick tip for anybody that wants to try active focus. It's normally advised to do it on things like signs, car number plates, anything that your brain understands exactly what it looks like. Take it to a distance where it's at what's called the edge of blur, where you can't quite see it, and then focus on it. Blink. Don't screw your eyes up, because that's not helping at all. You can do that short time. You can close your eyes reopen them again and hopefully it might jump into focus for you and when you get to that level you know you're slowly making improvements retraining the muscle in the eye to see properly so that silly muscle spasm will stop and you'll be able to get back to those 2020 that we all thought were impossible to achieve when we first went to the opticians and we're told those glasses would help us find some power lines go out on a nice sunny day <coughs> I would avoid <coughs> having the sun in front of you because I don't think that's going to help in any way whatsoever make sure it's behind you or at least off to the side and stare at those power lines see if you can snap them into focus make a comment below if you've had a similar experience or you even managed to follow the advice and it's helped you or what's the best way you found active focus Hopefully I'll start making a few more regular blogs following Jake's advice and update my progress in a more methodical way in the future. Bye.